Uh oh, IRL streamer arrested in Dubai and sentenced to one year in prison? No, absolutely not. I actually recorded this video a couple days ago and it was supposed to be released yesterday, but right before I released it, Neon came back with this stream. So it's safe to say I couldn't post the old version of this video without talking about the update to the situation where it's safe to say Neon was humbled by staying in jail in Dubai. So I'll let my past self explain the situation, then we'll cover what just happened. We've covered Neon recently as he's in the group of IRL kick streamers who just harass people for content. He's recently been banned for threatening to essay some random kid while arguing with him on Discord. But after he was banned, he made a half-assed apology, kicked in, forgave him, and then he went on kind of a world tour. His most recent stop was Dubai, which turns out to be a terrible place to make IRL streaming content, especially the kind of content that he does. As Neon and his girl, they've been live streaming all over the place without permission, and they found out the hard way that some countries have different rules than the Western world, especially when it comes to filming and streaming in public. And that's essentially what Neon has built his entire career on, so why someone from his team didn't check on that before them showing up, that's beyond me. But now he's been arrested alongside of his girlfriend, Sam. So to start things off, we have his arrest clip here. Put the camera down, Dad. Oh, oh okay. Come on, just get off. All cameras are off. I just want to let you know we're trying to work with you guys. I'm really sorry. If we can't film it, it's a problem. We can, we can just leave if that's a why would they live stream themselves lying to the police in a foreign country? There's no way that's a good idea. But the people, the people, uh, get services said we're okay. If it's not okay, we can leave. We don't we want problems. Go to the office and after we are after you Okay. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'm so sorry, sir. So I understand that um, it's not official, right? We're going to jail? We're going to jail? Chad, is this real? Like, bro, how is this guy real? But finally, they realize how serious of a situation they're in, and he finally tells the cameraman to actually shut down the stream. Oh. Where are we going? To the office, they said. But well, we went to guest services. That's where. Okay, guest services is where we got permission, ma'am. I want to let you know. So anyone who can clear this up is going to be in guest services as well. Oh, there's a Ripley's. Believe it or not. They didn't give us anything. They, just, they said yeah. they were going to send. That's the camera. They were going to send. They took a picture of my passport and they said huh? they would send it to the WhatsApp group chat. Close, close, close. Put it down, just put it down, bro. Put it down. What are you doing, bro? Put it so as of right now, we don't have much information on what's going on with Neon or Sam. We have one tweet from Sam that's now deleted saying, I cannot speak on anything, but when I can, you guys will be the first to know. Mo Vlogs, who we've covered here on this channel due to promoting multiple crypto scams, he's actually based in Dubai and he was filming with Neon the same day Neon was arrested. And this is what Mo had to say. Neon left the house a couple of hours ago, but I just got a message from his girl friend Sam saying that Neon has actually been arrested. Now guys, I don't know what to say. He was literally at my house like a few hours ago, but I do know the reason he got arrested. I do think he's going to be all right though, guys. I'll be honest, but we're going to have to see, I guess what happens guys, because all right. Uh, he was literally guys, we just had him at the house and now he's in a real jail. Um, so I'm gonna keep you guys updated on what's happening. I'll let you know if any updates happen, if they do message me. But I literally just saw the news break out and his girlfriend just messaged me. Ah, oh, this is a crazy way to end the video, guys. What makes it even more ironic is in Mo's video with Neon, he made Neon put on an orange jumpsuit and then he locked him in some fake jail cell. Then... <laughs> Like four to five hours later, Neon's sitting there in a real jail cell. It's like they manifested it, but Mo claims he knows why Neon was arrested. So that's slightly surprising that he didn't like give Neon a little bit of a heads up there. Like, oh, hey, by the way, you shouldn't be doing this. I feel like that would have been helpful to Neon. Would he have listened though? I don't know. That's another question. But the reason for Neon's arrest is because he was live streaming and filming on private property without a permit. And again, people have been circling rumors saying he's going to prison for a year. But as of now, he hasn't been sent yet, so that's just not true. Aiden Ross recently said this on his stream. The only thing I'll say is, it's sticky, bro. It's a very sticky situation, and I can't, I'm not gonna speak on because I don't make things worse. But, um, pray for Neon, man. He needs some prayers. That's all. 
that makes it seem really bad. So then I started looking for other local creators in Dubai talking about the situation, kind of like Mo Vlogs, because I'm assuming they have a better idea of what's going on than any American. And in my search, I found a guy by the name of Just Kush on YouTube, and he's made two videos on this situation. In his first video, he had this to say about the original arrest clip. Now, this place that they went to, it's called Global Village. And in certain places like this, you need a permit for professional cameras and microphones that you're you're gonna carry with you now the laws in dubai is way different than the western world you cannot film anyone even if they're in the background you can get sued for hundreds and thousands of dollars okay so if this is true why would neon ever go to dubai for content when his content is literally built off of harassing random people but kush also believes this is the reason they were stopped so i can tell you with full confidence that the reason they are stopped is because someone reported them that they are filming people without permission, without having a permit. They are streaming it live. And since they're huge, this is going to be an issue since they don't have a permit. And there's going to be a lot of people who do not want to be on camera. They are going to be on the background. Oh, man. I mean, knowing these kick streamer communities that have more hate watchers than actual fans, I bet you that one of his viewers reported this. But since Sam said, stop recording and said to the police officer, I'm sorry, uh, we are not recording any part of this. The cameras are all off and then this video goes, goes on the internet. Even if they're being held in the police station and the police go on the internet and watch this video, this is bad for them. Lying to a police officer and filming a police officer without their permission, these are two serious crimes. Oh boy, I feel like Kick should make like an internal map for all these IRL streamers of what countries will let you get away with just being an absolute degenerate because that would be very helpful for their business, I feel like, because that's essentially what all these IRL streamers are doing that are popular on this platform. And it wouldn't be an understatement to say, hey, a lot of these IRL streamers are finding out the hard way that the US and many of the other Western countries are extremely lenient in comparison to, for example, Dubai. But there's also also more misinformation being spread around about Neon as Dubai is currently having some wild flooding. Apparently they haven't received this much rain in 75 years. So this is what the airport is currently looking like. Me today no come job. Job no coming today. Me water too much road road. <laughs> Water too much. So I guess this is Dubai currently. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> but with all the flooding, you have this fake rumor that went around claiming that Neon passed away in custody due to the flooding. Kickstreamer Neon passed away in jail following a massive flood in Dubai. An event that sparked widespread concern has prompted calls for investigation into the safety conditions at the facility. Yeah, there's no way that's true. Misinformation just went parabolic on Twitter after they brought in monetization. But in Kusha's follow-up video, he gave his opinion on what's happening with Neon right now. This is either going to go two ways. He's He's either detained and he's not allowed to post anything on social media but it's most likely that he's still on his hotel but the police and the government are monitoring his every move on social media until his court date comes up and they decide what they want to do with him and until then you are not allowed to post and talk about any of the situations because it is Super serious, my friend. Same thing with Neon's situation. It's very unlikely for him to get arrested and be sentenced to jail. Even if people get like sentenced to 20 years in jail, you're going to serve two to three years. Then you're going to get deported to your own country. They don't want to keep your fat ass over here. They have to pay for your food. They have to pay for this and that. They just deport you. You can never come back to this country again. I think that's the best solution as well. Okay, so he's clearly not drowning in a cell right now. But also, after taking one look at Neon and one look at the amount of wealth over there, I think they can afford to feed him indefinitely. So now we're back to the 17th of April as of recording this. And as I hinted to you guys in the start of this video, Neon just randomly came back unannounced. And apparently he's out of Dubai. So it seems like Kush was right as they didn't hold him for that long at all. But yeah, chat, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of what happened. Uh, anything I say, chat, it has nothing bad to do with Dubai. It's an amazing country, a great country. And they made sure once they found out what was happening, I was good. So uh, basically, chat, what happened was um, JCV, the sped, um, you know, <laughs> You know him, idiot. Um, my cameraman, basically. Um, I'm not gonna put the blame on him, but um, you know we did some some not good activities there, man. You know uh, it was not it was not good what we did, and um, we, um, we we were filming in the um, in the areas where we're not supposed to film, and it was not a good situation. It was not a good scenario. Uh, it really wasn't. So. Um 
we were recording in the areas that's not good. And um, where is Sam? Shut up. It was all JCV. Nah, bro, because I put him in the situation. And then chat, the, the real situation was we, we accidentally filmed the cops, bro. We act, the, the sped, like his eyes were popping wide open filming the cops where he was like excited, bro. I don't know what the f he was doing, bro. The idiot filmed the cops. It wasn't his fault. Though. I don't blame him. I take full accountability. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely a massive mistake. But then he goes on to talk about his experience in jail. Shit situation, bro. It was a really shit situation. I was in that, uh, behind bars for probably like approximately like 37 hours or something. Um, but you know the funny thing, chat? The funny thing is, the down there knew me, bro. They knew me, chat. I was literally welcomed. I was a king in there, bro. I was a king. They were giving me free, like, free beds and shit. Like, it was fire, bro. It was fire. It honestly made me look at things different. I swear to God, I was ready to, I was ready to just chill there with the boys, bro. Some guy was telling me some other shit he did. Like, I was really hearing their stories and getting to know them, bro. And then there was this black dude with a scar. Bro, it was really, really fire. Um, I, I, I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. They all knew me, bro. They all knew me. On God. Wallahi. Wallahi. Everything I say is truth. Everything I say is the truth. They knew me, bro. What is up with all these kick IRL streamers going to jail, then running the jails? Like, multiple of these guys have gone to jail and said this, but sure, whatever they say. But either way, dude went to jail for like 36 hours and came back with a five o'clock shadow and a wife beer on. Um, I, I, I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. They all knew me, bro. They all knew me. On God. Wallahi. Wallahi. Everything I say is truth. Everything I say is the truth. They knew me, bro. It was really, really cool. It was honestly, chat, it showed me genuinely that actions have consequences, bro. Actions have consequences. You can't go around in Dubai, the most safe and respected place ever, recording whatsoever, like whatever, thinking I could just get away with that. I I, I, chat, I thought I was invincible, bro. I thought I was invincible. But in reality, look at me. I'm a little piece of shit, bro. I'm a piece of shit chat all right and it really made me realize and i swear to god chat you're gonna see a whole different side of me bro not this like whatever just do whatever i want all this whatever like i'm i'm i'm, I'm really gonna think before i do now bro because i realize that actions have consequences bro dead ass bro it's insane that he had to go to jail in dubai to realize his actions have consequences like it seemed like they actually humbled him but how long that'll last though no clue dead ass it humbled me bro i didn't think anyone could even touch me or do anything to me bro i'm a idiot bro i'm genuinely an idiot and i'm stupid bro and it's my fault it's my fault bro it's my fault bro i take full accountability bro is this an act or is this because he was just let out of jail or is this actually a permanent attitude change who knows maybe the future will tell but i do want to give a quick shout out to just Kush for making content that was very helpful for this video the dude is really putting in the work as he's uploading a bunch of videos and i know firsthand how much time that takes so you can click right here to go subscribe to him and other than that i'll see you guys in the next video you can also drop a like on this video and subscribe to me if you're new here peace